I welcome you all for the wireless communication lecture module. In this session, we are going to discuss about the introduction to cellular concepts and a frequency reuse. So cellular concepts is nothing but a, it's a system level idea which replaces a single high power transmitter with many low power transmitter. So here each low power transmitter which covers only smaller area, that smaller area is normally called as cell. So here each cell is a as its own base stations. Okay, so each base station is assigned with a set of channels or set of different set of frequencies. So this cannot be used to by the neighboring cells. So these concepts is used to avoid the interference. Each cell has assigned with a different set of channels to avoid the interference. Normally, the cell is in shape of a hexagonal shape, the cell is used because in case of you are using a circular shape or rectangular or square shape, you know. So, this with respect to the user position, normally the base antenna is placed at the uh, center. Okay. So, from that center, the distance between all the entire edge area should be equal. Only this is possible in the hexagonal shape. So, hexagonal shape is tightly packed with the all the adjacent cells so hexagonal shape is preferred over the other shapes so this is the concept of a cellular structure okay so in the as i have mentioned you know each cell each base station has allocated with a group of radio channels and this radio channels is only for that particular cells the neighboring cells cannot use that uh, same channel okay then the next is the frequency reuse so as the one larger geographical area is divided into n number of smaller cells you know as i have made. if you are allocating a separate channel or different channel to the each of the cell you know obviously will have a huge number of channels has to be used to cover a larger geographical area so obviously we are in force getting to the spectrum scarcity so we do not have that much number of spectrum to provide the unique spectrums for each of this channel. So to overcome this drawback, we are bringing the concept called frequency reuse or frequency planning. So the frequency reuse or frequency planning is nothing but it is systematically the channels can be reused. Okay, the same type of channels can be reused with a different number of cells as long as the interference cannot be occurred with those cells so that concept is called as the frequency reuse so with respect to this diagram here we have a a we're looking at the channel a okay so this channel a or cell a has been allotted with the different set of frequencies so we have a neighboring cells b c d e f and g so these cells cannot use the same channels which are used by the same channels or same frequency which are used by A. So after some distances, again, we have a group of cells, you know. So there we can again use the same frequency at the adjacent cell. So this group of cells which use different channels is normally called as a cluster. Okay. A cluster is a one which uses the entire frequency spectrum. Okay. Within a cluster, a spectrum or a channel cannot be reallocated with the same cells. Okay. So with respect to the cells, there are two types of cells are available. Now one is center excited cell and the second one is a edge excited cells. If the base station is placed at the center of the cell, then it is called as a center excited cells. If the base station is placed at the edge of the cell, then it is called as a edge excited cells. Okay, so if you want to measure the capacity of a particular cell, you know, considering a cellular system, which has a total S duplex channel. So here each cell has been allocated with a group of a K channels. The total allocated spectrum, we have a S number of total channels, among which each channel has been allocated with a K number of channels. Okay, so these S channels has to be divided among with the N number of cells. So the total available radio channels S is equal to K multiplied with the n number of cells. Okay, so these n number of cells, as I have mentioned, n number of cells are complete set is normally called as a cluster. Okay, 
So to, if you want to measure the capacity, so the capacity can see the total number of channels which is equal to m into k into n which is approximated to the m into s. Okay, so the capacity is directly proportional to the number of replications m. Okay, so normally the cluster size n varies with respect to 4, 7 or 12. Okay, so if you have a smaller n, is desirable to increase the capacity. Okay, normally the frequency reef factor is given by the 1 divided by n. Okay. So the number of cells per cluster can be found n can be found out using i square plus i j plus j square. Okay. For example, if you have a i equal to 3 and j equal to 2, if you are substituting you know i and j, then obviously we are getting the value of n n equal to 19. Okay. And then the next is if the frequency this uh, the cells which uses the same frequency is called as a co-channel neighbors so normally these co-channels are co-cells are founded using from the hexagonal shape we need to move high high number of cells and then we need to turn 60 degree again we need to move to j number of cells for looking at the diagram at, we are now we are considering the center cell at a from the cell where i equal to 3, we need to move 3 cells in the any one direction. So, 1, 2, 3 and then we need to take 60 degree at the counterclockwise. So, we will take 60 degree and then we need to move j number of cells. If we move 2 cells again, then we will reach the a again. So, these two channels are called as co-channels which uses the same frequency. So, this is the concept of a cellular structure and frequency reuse okay so normally to divide the larger geographical area into smaller smaller areas and each smaller area is denoted as a cell so each cell has its own base stations and the channels can be divided only through that particular cell only okay the adjacent cell cannot be used the same channel which is used by the neighbor cell so this is the structure of the cell so if you are bringing these concepts you know so to cover a whole larger geographical area, we need a number of different frequency spectrums which cannot be offered. Obviously, we fall into the concept called a spectrum scarcity. So to avoid that, we bring it into the concept called a frequency reuse or frequency planning. The frequency reuse or frequency planning is nothing but after some distances, we can use the same frequency again. Okay. So the set of cells which uses different frequency is called as a cluster. So after some clusters, each cluster using the frequency reuse can be divided within that clusters. Okay, again, there are two types of cells. One is center excited cells and the edge excited. It depends upon the where we are placing the base stations. So the total number of clusters can be found out using the i square plus i j plus j square. And then the adjacent channels can be found out with the help of it. We need to move i cells in the hexagonal and then take 60 degree counterclockwise and then we need to move j cells obviously we will reach a cell and from these two cells are commonly called as a co-channel or co-channel neighbors this is about a cellular concept and a frequency reuse